Academy. I can see you and I'm feeling happy because you have all honored us to be here. Can you please clap for yourselves? Yes, yes, you're welcome. Warm, warm welcome to everybody. All our teachers, wherever you are, just stand up. And other staff members, we are more than that. Our guest of honor is Mr. Maruleke. Sir, you're welcome. We welcome you to Southampton Private Academy. Mr. Maruleke is one of us in terms of our vision. We are educationists. We believe in education. We are what we are because of education. We couldn't find any other person better than Mr. Maruleke. We couldn't get any better person other than the person from office and we know whatever he sees here, he will tell us this should be done like this, this can be corrected like this. And in education, we believe in long life learning. We learn every day. We learn at every occasion. We learn at every word. Every spoken word has a meaning. And therefore, all parents who are here, you're welcome to Southampton, not only today, all the time to come and be with us and advise us in the way we do our things. At this juncture, I don't want to miss most waste of your time. We have a lot to do. I want to welcome our guest of honor, Mr. Maleke. Please clap for him as he comes through to give us honor. Thank you. Thank you. She has already introduced me. Is it working? Yes. Beautiful. Uh, greetings to everybody in this beautiful hall. You know, I thought this hall would be full of learners. I think they are preparing themselves, they are still coming. Yeah. Those are the people who brought us here. It's, it wasn't easy at all. You had to sweat buckets for this day. You had to sweat buckets. And I believe you're not alone. You're with the Almighty God. God gave you that guidance. And that's an indication that you love this beautiful soul, these learners. That is the reason you organized this event. So on behalf of Ekurulay South District, we are saying thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Because we are doing this for these future leaders, these humble souls that are sitting before us. One is not going to be long. I think I won't go beyond 10 minutes. I wish I had ample time just to talk to my clients, my learners. But one will make time where the school is going to give me three hours. Yeah. So that we can talk education. The rationale behind us converging here is that we want to celebrate the results, the achievements. Of, of these beautiful souls. You know, I regard learners as plants, flowers, that need to be taken care of. We all need to take care of these souls. We know what's happening in our country. We know what's happening in our continent. The problems that we are faced with will be solved by these learners. So ours, as parents, because remember teachers, when these learners land at this school, you take over. You then begin to act in local parities. Parents, they are, they are bringing their kids to this institution with the hope that teachers that are here will take care of them. And I'm pleased to announce that your learners are safe here. I do visit this school with the director. And then we love what we're actually seeing here. We have confidence in this school. We have confidence in the staff. We sincerely believe that they are going to make something out of these beautiful souls. I want to talk to the concept of SMART. This is meant for my learners. Remember, your parents, myself included, 
Remember I said, we are acting in local parishes. I want you to make sure that you enjoy the curriculum in your respective classes. So I'm saying to you, today I want to talk to the concept of smart. Smart. As you embark on this journey, you need to be smart. And I'm pleading with parents, for these kids to achieve their goals, they need your presence. Let us be there. It's not easy. Remember, when your child is doing grade one, you are also doing grade one. When your child is doing grade two, you are also doing grade two. You must be part of that journey. Because alone, we are not going to crack it. We are not going to crack it. These beautiful souls need us. We cannot solve the problems that we are faced with in this country. We are now handing over to our beautiful souls to say, do something. This journey is characterized by good and bad things. I know that you are not born with an enemy within you. God created a star in you. So don't allow an enemy from outside to do you any harm. We are having great level learners here. Come 2024 academic year, they'll be sitting in grade 12. You have got five months in grade 12. You don't have time. And a lot is expected of you. The temperature in the kitchen is rising on a daily basis. So I want you to say to parents that are sitting here, whoever is having a grade 11 learner here, next year that child will be sitting in grade 12. I'm appealing. It's just a humble request. Let's support these kids. For the situation to change at home, let's support these kids. After four years, it will be history. So I'm saying, my beautiful learners, next year when I come, those that are in grade 11, given that will be in grade 12, when I come next year, I'll just volunteer some of you to say, just give me the things that are important, but not urgent. Share with me, how are you going to approach this 2024 academic year? Because I'm saying, it's easy for you to get all the, word, the distinctions in all the subjects that will be offering. Yeah. When I come, remember I said I won't be alone. I will be coming. Ten of us will be. They will want to know how you are actually planning to get your distinctions in grade 12. Parents are here. They are going to support you. We are here. You will get all the support that you need. Ask them. We always say we cannot do without you. And it's not about us, but it's about learners in the system. I'm told that some of you will be getting a buzzer. So next year, I'm not going to pay for the single cent. And that refreshes my mind. I, I, I get him. And that's the situation that one was in this agent to say, look, we expect you to go, to go on out, mobilize resources. Because we know where these kids are coming from. We don't have to visit their, 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 their respective homes. But we know it's not easy. It's not easy. Even ourselves, we're not actually really getting this function to you. You've got the right to say, this is how we push this with value. Department, avail yourselves. At some stage, we we'll adopt this case. These are our learners. Remember, Southampton is an extension of the district. When we look at this Southampton, we see the district. So we say, let's rally behind these kids, colleagues, teachers. Thank you very much. I know it's not easy. There are serious contextual factors. And some of you, you feel like leaving. And we are saying, don't leave. Take everything to the Almighty God. I will answer your question. As I said in the beginning of my talk, you know, I can talk and change something.
I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I made it. Parents, please. Let's take care of these flowers. They belong to us. <coughs> Lastly, I wish you good luck. May the Almighty God bless you with good health. Thank you very much.
Sandalo Kumbe Nisianda. The next one is Hindu Alien.
Zuba and Z. Please come forward quickly. Somile Ofense. Azola Mbandeni. Nontanja. Again, Azola Mbandeni. Somile Tutumayo Matazi. Azola Mbandeni. Nontanja Piri. Are you all here? Okay. So the first one.
mathematics, 97%. Again, Lea Shuma 
is taking them home uh, in natural sciences and technology, 84%. Ndala Abu Helam, Natural Science and Technology, 84%. Hey, Liasuma is collecting them. Liasuma Mbusi, Social Sciences, 92%. Thank you so much. Grade five. There, there, there. Brother. Yeah. Yeah.
Emmanuel, please come to the front again. Come. How can I forget you, man? When you're getting all of them, you're taking them home. Mongi wetu skaka 
Mane is a Zulu Limlo Kalalo in Geza, eighty two per cent. Please, if the parent is here for Mongi to please come forward to collect on his behalf or on her behalf. Okay, Lisa Noltando Lovu, Economics Management Sciences, eighty nine per cent. Again, Lisa Noltan on Jogu, Creative Arts, 83%. Lisa Noltan on Jogu, Gajen, Boyabenyati, Computers, 85%. Life orientation, 
theory. Blessing theory, uh, blessing theory, religious studies, 82 percent. Any parent for the absent learners? Lili uh, Matujana, life orientation, 87 percent. That's how you pronounce it. Grade Levens, thank you, Lily. Grade Levens, Anna Elen Dovu. Lerato Kimbal, Songwe. Kamuhelo Malete. Anelem Dovu, Lerato Kimbali, Kamuhelo. Anelem Dovu. Anelam Dovu, Physical Sciences, 87%. Anelam Dovu, English Home Language, 87%. Lerato Kimbal Shong, where is the Zulu first additional language, eighty one per cent? Kamuhelo Malete. This is Zulu first additional language, eighty one per cent. Anelam do Anelam Dovu, Africans first additional language, ninety five per cent. Anela wants to collect all these awards. She just wants to take them home. Anela Mdovu, life orientation 88%.
your children. This was a great experience. For the first time that they did coding and robotics, some of them did things that we never thought they could do. And they were so amazing that it's overwhelming. And with that, we had to send their videos abroad to Lego, which is the one that's giving us this chance to teach your children coding and robotics. We do Lego robotics. Their slogan is always, it's learning through play. So when your children started to learn coding and robotics, they were making jokes about it and saying, what are we going to learn with these toys? And amazingly, those toys had not refused to follow these co-values. So with this chance, we had a chance to take 11 learners for the virtual gear competition. For the first time that they performed, Lego Robotics was actually, uh, I'm not sure what to say because when they called me and said, your students are amazing. They created, they actually performed well in all the missions that were given in the Met. We are unable to actually show you a video of all of them. We're very proud for the grade sevens. They took this chance not knowing anything, but they did it anyway. So I'm very proud of them. I'm overwhelmed in all the schools that we did coding and robotics. Southampton was actually the one that came on top. So we're very proud today to actually give them these certificates that are from Lego. And they are actually represented by us, me and Coach Tato. We are coding and robotics coaches. We teach intermediate. So we will be giving them these certificates to actually thank them for taking a chance, for believing in themselves, and for us also to actually believe in them that they can do it. Thank you. So the student that is follows. Tiamo Munyabudi, Takunda Marowa, Nicole Mutani. Our overall, we're not amazed. Princess Mutanga. Natasha Runesu Velo Hatebe Minente Piri Innocent Mkumbeni Cassandra Sibayo And now on this one I think in in this school with every child that I taught coding and robotics, he was the most dedicated and the one who chose the most difficult tasks that I've ever given to them. And this is Blessing Musha and Devu. on a different coding and robotics called Arduino. It's electronics plus robotics. So if any of them is willing to take this journey further, we welcome engineers of the future. Thank you.
Amele. Amele, not only in education, he combines character with education. It's not only Anneli, we have many of them, but fortunately we have to choose. Anneli has been the chosen. Anneli, we thank you so much. Your teachers are proud of you. Your parents are proud of you. Everybody here is proud of you. We know you're going to be better. And I hand over this to our... academic year should be saying with me everything is sorted. Well done, Michelle. Thank you very much, this school. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. This is so touching, you know. Yeah. And then we'll and then, uh, we love to see you next year. So all this is yours, Anele. Thank you for encouraging other learners and stay good. Thank you, Mom and Nene. We know for your child to do well, you must be doing something right. It's not only us as a school, but as a parent, you're doing something right. Please continue doing what you're doing. It's working. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anela, for the hard work that you are putting. Thank you so much. Three. If I call them and you guys are here, please kindly sit down. I will call you afterwards if you are here. Okay, so now Mia Ziggy in grade one, a special award for well behaved learner. for them. But she's not here. 
today. She's the best disciplined learner. Uh, grade six again, Penyo Mutisenyana, best disciplined learner. Snatch Warato, grade six, most improved learner. Joshua Galmani, grade four, most improved. No more. No more. Alicia Pega, grade four, smart Lena.
for spelling B in grade, level, in grade 10 to 11, it's Anela Mdovu again. for them. So there's a lot of pressure on them. If your child has attained an award in any subject, so make sure that the following year that child has to defend that trophy or that award that they already have. So the challenge is going to be even tougher next year, but we put our trust in you that they will continue doing very well with the support of you as a parent. We really appreciate you. You have made Southampton very proud. And these awards, maybe let me explain further. We're not just giving awards in any subjects, but we're awarding learners who got 80% and above. That's why I found that other subjects here, they were not called. So only those that got 80% and above, and they were the top in that subject, are the ones that we have called today to come and receive these awards. So, without you parents encouraging them at home and making sure that they are at school all the time, you pay their school fees, it wasn't going to be possible. But you have done a very good job. We'd like to respect you and appreciate the good work that you are doing. May the good Lord bless you we wish you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. Thank you. Thank you for leading this program and thank you for the love that you have shown 
We pray and we ask that you may continue to bless the kids, to become better examples to others, and to become better examples to themselves. We pray that you may bless them as they're going for the holidays until we meet again in the next year, 2024. We pray and we ask that you may bless the parents at home with their kids. May you bless us as teachers as we are about to depart.